Hi, my name is Tracy Barnes, student ID number 2303-83-20. I'm in the 2013 class, Interpersonal Communication. Dr. Dunn is my instructor. Today I'm going to talk about what is interpersonal communication. I'm going to talk about my overarching goal and how my overarching goal enlarged my conversation. I'm going to talk about my personality blend, what is me and what is expected of me. I'm going to talk about some of my potentials and some of the potential barriers and some of my potential barrier solution. I'm going to talk about um, the noise pollution, how the external and internal noise pollution can hurt your conversation. I'm going to talk about my plan of action and then I finally I'm going to talk about how I'm going to let lo the Lord use me throughout from this class. What in the world is interpersonal communication? Interpersonal, interpersonal communication is the way our society believes and views communicating with others uh, and sharing and delivering information to one another. Stewart 2011 says that interpersonal communication is the types or kinds of communication that happens when the people involved talk and listen in ways that maximize the presence of personal. That's good. I was also read another article by Eckerson, Eckerson's 2013 the effects of communication skills and the interpersonal problem solving skills on self-efficiency and he defined interpersonal communications as the basis of personal relationship and the effective communication happens when the message that is sent is the message that is received in other words the message the sender and the receiver hears the same message and understands the same thing Okay, then what is overarching goal? Arching, overarching goal, developing the capacity to examine ourselves critically, helps us to be aware of our beliefs, our values, and attitude in order to understand and reshape them. What is my overarching goal? Is to strive to be self-disclosure, not to be judgmental, and learn to live, listen at a level one level. Uh, also, you know, they say enlarging my conversation is a direct link between the quality of your communication and the quality of your life. Where enlarging my conversation consists of learning how to listen at level one level. Be more secure of what I'm saying to who I'm saying it and know who I'm talking to. And also be able to talk in public. You know, sometimes I am i can't talk in public. So being able to talk in public is another one of my enlarging my conversation. Uh, enlarging my conversation, um, when it comes to communicating with others, a person can be flat brain in ways which cause a person to not understand, comprehend, or real, rationalize, or even respond logical. Therefore, we need to learn that our stomach, our head, and our heart are all parts that help our communication better. The stomach puts feelings into the words. Our heart puts ownership and openness into words. And our head puts thoughts into words. My personality billion is... I'm African American. That's a little background about me. I'm African American. I'm a one parent household. I'm the oldest of five children. I helped raise my brothers and sisters. I'm the first to have a child. I'm the first to um, have a grandchild. I'm the first one to go to college and receive a BS. Um, I'm 43 years. I'm 43 years old with a defibrillator pacer, and I'm 43 years old on a CPAP machine. Some of my positive influences on my behavior blend is I'm caring, trusting, optimistic, uh, talkative, loyal, honest, organized, and inventive. Some of my negative ones, which I'm not too proud of, I sacrifice too much of my time and my energy, and I do stuff for other people and not care about myself. I hurt and disappoint people. When I let them down, I'm, I'm hurt because I couldn't fulfill what I wanted to fulfill for them. I get taken advantage of. People think that since I'm soft-spoken, which is my last negative one, that they can tend to take advantage of me. So what is a, my, what is a behavior blend? Well, Carl Bono, 2008, I'm sorry, Describe behavior blend as the four temperament models of humans. Behavior where we can graphically visualize the four different types 
in a vector. Each type is independent of the other, but they are all also related in specific ways, such as D is active, um, task oriented, or I is active, people oriented, C is passive, task oriented, and S is passive, people oriented. B. Uh, a personality style is regulated by two sides. What is me? What is expected of me? I'm sorry. And your guarded, which is your guarded behavior. And this is me, is which is when you're open to people and they know who you are. The um, my expected blend, my expected of me is S, and this is me as a CIS. On the graph one. This is expected of me as I'm steady, stable, shy, secure, orientated, servant, submissive, and a specialist. On graph two, this is me, CIS. I'm passive, people skill, outgoing, interact with people, friendly, prefer peace and harmony in organizing and setting environment. Some of my positive behavioral blend influences. I'm inspiring. I'm inspiring and supporting to others. I offer kind words when people are going through uh, difficult times in their life. I'm there to give them kind and encouraging words. I run from a fight every chance I can get. If it's a conflict, I'm running from it. Um, I love trying to solve people's problems. Probably my biggest problem is trying to solve other people's problems. Uh, I can work alone. And I can be a, a very good follower. My negative behavior blend is overused by people's skill. Overuse my people's skills. Sometimes I, I go too beyond using my people's skills. I can be a little overbearing. And I think too long about solving problems. I can solve the problems and I can get to a conclusion. But I take too long sometimes. Sometimes um, I'm too shy around new people. And just give me a few minutes, I warm up. But my very first initial, I'm kind of shy around them. Uh, let people take advantage of me. That's my biggest, I guess, biggest one. I let people take advantage of me. And I sacrifice too much of my peace and time. So in my potential barriers is I express, um, uh, accepting my mistakes. I don't like to accept my mistakes. I don't like to say I make mistakes. Uh, I don't... Um, how I'm not self disclosed. I don't disclose. I don't like to let people inside. I'm a daydreamer sometimes, and uh, I hear what I want to hear sometimes, and I want to solve other people's problems. But how I'm gonna fix them barriers? I'm gonna speak what's on my mind. I'm gonna open up a little bit more, and I'm gonna learn to listen on a level one instead of on a level uh, three. You know, tuning in, tuning out. And I'm going to understand what the person is going through and what they're trying to say before I offer any advice or any conclusions. And what is the noise pollution? Well, it's external and it's in internal. Some of my internal uh, noises um, is emotional listening, um, bias listening, and listening through a filter. Well, I'm going to be optimistic on the emotionals. I'm going to be face value on listening through filters and then I'm going to um, keep personal experience to myself until the very end. Some of my external um, noises is no loud traffic noise, um, talk talker speaking too rapidly. Well, I'm going to find a peaceful place. That's how I'm going to solve this. I'm going to find a peaceful place and I'm going to talk in a more accurate tone where they can really understand what I'm saying. My plan of actions is after this class, I'm planning on taking some time to meditate on what I've learned and how uh, God intends for me to use this uh, information that I have um, obtained. I'm going to communicate a little bit better with my peers and authorities, and I'm going to try to avoid procrastination. Uh, I'm going to try to make my needs known, and I'm going to stay more calm and have more patience. And finally, after this class, I intend to be more like Solomon. In Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Well, I'm going to trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not into my own understanding. In all my ways, I'm going to acknowledge God and let Him direct my path. Thank you and have a good day.